pockets here. We do like pockets. Hello, people. It is Monday morning, 8, 13 a.m. We like pockets. Um, I'm gonna film a few little clips here to put into vlogs because it has been a family wedding weekend and my vlogging and speaking to the camera has been inconsistent at best. So I'll do what I can. You might get All right, good morning, everybody. So if you are watching this clip, then you have already seen the clips of my brother's wedding. Yes, I wasn't supposed to film anything, but you know, I did anyway. Anyway, we spent Sunday, I'm sorry, Saturday evening after we landed uh, at my brother's house uh, with family and friends and meeting his new family, um, his new wife and her, all of her family, her kids, her, um, I almost said her in-laws, that's not what I meant. Her parents, her siblings and all of that stuff, their church friends and all of that. So um, we met all them and that was a really fun evening. Their wedding and um, it was at a beautiful location called the Pond at Casey Orchard here in Redlands, California. If you need an event venue, I would recommend it. It was so good and the food was excellent. The food was done by a friend of my dad's and brother's. I will try to get their name if they have online information. I know she's got Facebook because she's already asked me um, for my information. She said she's gonna look me up, but I'll try to get their information, link it down below. They do um, smoked meats and barbecue and, you know, how many times have you been to a wedding where the venue is gorgeous, the wedding is beautiful and the food sucks? I mean, we've all been there, right? The food was so good, I can't even tell you all. And it was just such a fun time. So anyway, right, now we get to Monday uh, Monday morning. I almost said Sunday. It's Monday morning, I've lost track of days. Um, we are headed downstairs to try to grab some breakfast before they close it. And we have um, a two something-ish flight right before three o'clock home. Hopefully we can land and it's not too bumpy. Um, we are getting slammed with the storms that are hitting the Pacific Northwest and um, quite a bit of the West Coast actually. Yesterday I think was a bad wind day. So kind of maybe glad we didn't go home yesterday and the wedding was yesterday, maybe? Yeah, I'll let you know. We'll see if it does get weird. I will probably film something, you know me. All right, I'll be Let's back. See. There's a California culture shock for both of us. The first day we landed, I realized I'd forgotten a couple things. So we ran over to the Walmart, which is not too far from where we're at. And everything in the Hella Beauty aisle was behind locked doors. We don't have that in Oregon. Like you couldn't get so much as a pair of tweezers, which is what I forgot, without calling for assistance. Um, People steal tweezers. 
you guys have that where you are? We don't have that in Oregon. I haven't seen that since I worked on the east side of San Jose, which just for those who don't know is the bad side of town. Um, yeah, and evidently it's very common down here, everywhere. Not just on the bad side of town. What's common? Having, the lo having everything locked up at the Walmart. Oh, yeah. It was weird. Anyway, nice place to visit California, but I want to go home now. Weird thing for me to say since I'm a California native. All right, I'll be back. Everything I just commented on on our way out the door, just like the Sacramento trip, despite signs being posted to wear a mask, most people aren't wearing a mask. It's very different from Oregon. Yeah, I'll be back. Look at the elevator to come. We'll take you on the sketchiest elevator ride on the planet because yeah, it's a little weird. We might just have to take the stairs. Okay, you didn't get the sound effects of the elevator because we had a um, uh, 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 another person in the elevator, but you did see the lights jump from one to three because number two doesn't work. Um, but the sounds the elevator makes, yeah, that shit's scary. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. All right, I do think we're going to go drive around. And the husband suggested, hey, why don't we find Daiso? So I think we're going to try going to Daiso, which I didn't think we were going to get to this trip, but will they have anything? Has the supply chain like really messed up the store? Who knows? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Obviously, when the car got to push the seat up because, yeah, Bob is much taller than me, in case you didn't know. He's six foot one. I'm like five, two and a half on a good day. Anyway, uh, I had a post I needed to write and schedule for Artsy Trio. Thank you, Mike and Bea, for reminding me because, to be honest, I almost forgot and I probably would have not remembered until tomorrow morning. But it's done and it's scheduled and it'll go up tomorrow. Um, I still have to edit the vlog from last week and figure out how exactly I'm going to do that. Um, with the traveling and everything and not really filming a closing clip. And, I don't know. Um, but first I need to go to the post office and check the P.O. box. I need to mail a package to my friend Leslie McGrath. And I need to go, oh, I need to go get groceries, but I forgot the list. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, got it. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got all my chores done for the day, catching up on things like laundry and dishes and grocery shopping and all of that stuff. But also the bonus chores of having to put all the Halloween pumpkins and things that might blow away easy in high winds away in the garage. I've just put them back. We're still getting rain and some wind, but we're not supposed to get any more super high wind. So hopefully they don't blow down the street. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> anyway, the vlog is edited and set to load tomorrow morning. I also have an RC Trio video coming out in the morning. Um, getting the mail. Got all the shopping done, I think. There's a couple of things, of course, because of broken supply chain I couldn't find. Um, Bob needed uh, chips for his lunch and he gets the, we get the multi bags of the small chips. Um, you know, the little snack chips packs. Anyway, they literally had one bag of small packs of chips on the shelf. One. So he got the one. Hopefully that one works. He has a particular kind of bread he likes. They only had two loaves of that bread. I bought one of them. Like the whole shopping trip was like that. And it's been like that occasionally on and off since COVID started. Um, so while it doesn't completely surprise me, the things that are just off the shelf are just always so weird. Anyway, I'm going to leave a little early to pick my dad up at the airport tomorrow and try to stop at a different store and pick up a couple things that they didn't have. I don't know. We'll see. 
anyway. I'll Anybody else agree with me that there's just something about that, although it's messy, that it's really pretty. All the leaves on the ground. Okay. We are headed out for our evening walk. I don't know how many pictures I'm going to take because it is a little chilly out. I'm going to put my gloves on, but this is me. I'll probably get hot at some point and take the gloves off because, you know, he's the one that gets freezing cold. I'm the one that gets hot. Just my fingers. J just his fingers. Yeah, he gets cold. Anyway, I'll be back. It is, I don't know what time it is, hold yeah, on. October 27th, 9.47 a.m. It is, of course, overcast, still rainy on and off, leaves everywhere, because welcome fall. Uh, I'm gonna come outside here a bit and make sure no pumpkins blew away down the street, because yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, we also have the coyotes visiting a lot. Um, I think they're looking for food. Maybe water? I don't know. I'm going to take the um, bowls, which at this point are just filled with pine needles and icky water, and I'm gonna dump them out and bring them in the back. I have to go get my dad at the airport this morning. Well, he lands just after lunch, but I'm gonna leave around 11 o'clock or so because, you know, it's COVID and we have a broken supply chain and can you get everything at the store when you go anymore? Of course not. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to go to at least three different stores this morning. Um, one of which is to pick up my prescription and I was trying to search their store inventory online, which you'd think at this point, two years into the p pandemic, the stores would get more on board with that. But anyway, I understand the logistics behind ma making that a little difficult. Anyway, they don't seem to have in stock anything else I need. So I'm gonna go get my prescription. I'm gonna go to one store for some uh, face stuff that I need that I'm running out of and then I need to go get some food things I couldn't find yesterday at Fred Meyer or Safeway I'll hit up a different store and see if they have it I don't know anyway that's my day how about you I'll be back so I got a few things done around the house including getting up on the ladder and cleaning out some weeds aka pine needles <laughs> from our front gutter which for some reason the previous owners have caps on all the gutters except for the one in the front down low so I don't know what the logic is behind that but at some point we might want to put a cap on it anyway got it all the majority of the biggest clog cleaned out I have to wait for Bob to do the rest because there's nothing for me to hold on to and my middle name is not Grace I'm not the most stable on the ground, much less up on a high ladder, so. Okay, made it to the cell phone waiting area. Got all my errands done, except evidently all of the expired medication boxes in my area are full. And so, yeah. So the one thing I didn't get done was dispose of all my expired inhalers. Or re expired rescue inhalers and some of them are very very expired like 2019 or older I, I already disposed of the ones that were 2012 and 2015 y yeah I had some of them bone broth anyway so yeah that was the one thing I didn't get done so I guess I'll just leave the baggie in the car um, well, the next time I'm at a Rite Aid or a Walgreens and see if I can drop it off if their box isn't full or CVS. Um, and yes, I have a lot of them because it's like a uh, person with severe allergies and their EpiPens. You don't just have one. You have one in your handbag. You have one in your kitchen. You have one in your bedroom. You have one in your office. Like you have them everywhere because you don't want to be without it should something happen. A asthmatics are the same way. Um, just having one would make me insane having to try to remember where I put it down last. And with my luck, I'd have an asthma attack and it'd be downstairs and I'd be upstairs, so. Hey guys, so 
It's been another busy day. We only went away for like three days and things have been nuts since we got back. Anyway, we're gonna go on a walk now. Get some steps in. I feel a few little drizzly drips on my head, but nothing big. I'm not the Wicked Witch. I don't think anyways. <laughs> okay, nothing um, like starting off the morning um, in a good way with a chit chat with my sister Elizabeth, which was good. And by the way, um, she and I were discussing uh, supply chain issues. She lives in the state of Utah. And here's a picture of her cold case where there should be cream cheese. Yeah, that's a thing. So I know you all can relate. I know there's different sections and different stores every time you come in across the country, probably around the world, where things just are not where they used to be and they're just not in stock. So we're all having to make substitutions. Anyway, fun times. Uh, we also had all of the Wi-Fi booster pods all go down at once today and the gateway is working and I do sort of have a signal, but this is a big house and without the pods, um, the signal's not the best um, for Wi-Fi. The compu main computers are on Ethernet, so they're fine. Anyway, um, I am probably going to have to restart the gateway, but Bob is in a meeting, and so when he breaks for lunch, we can do that, but right now we cannot do that. He's in a meeting. So if I can't fix it any other way, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. All right, I think we got the pods back online, but I don't know what we did to get them there. <laughs> anyway, I also made some small little envelopes. And um, if you want to know how I did, what I did, why I did it, you have to be a patron or supporter. The video is over there and it's just for them, along with the pattern that I created for what I did. Uh, they also get previews of some of my artwork and posts. Um, or. Or they get an only look. Nobody else gets a look. So, you know, if you want um, direct contact with me, that's another thing they get. We have a private support group just for patrons and supporters um, in Facebook, a chat group, and where we can discuss our art problems, sometimes life problems, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I'm going to edit this patron video. I'm going to get it up over there. I'm going to get the template up over there and all of that stuff. And then it will be just about lunchtime. So anyway, it's all good. Oops, accidental still image of myself. Anyway, Mr. Bob and I are finally headed out. Sure, Mr. Bob and I are finally headed out to work. Now I look less like a crazy person. Um, headed out to work, headed out to walk. It has been a crazy day between the cleaning lady and emails and phone calls and um, Mr. Bob has been uh, called it back into his desk for work every five minutes, uh, even after work hours. And so, yeah, we're gonna go get some steps really quick. It's darker than normal because it's later than normal. I have a feeling we're eating at nine o'clock at night tonight. At least, at least I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I kind of hope not. But anyway, he's walking backwards. I'm going to stop now before he trips and hurts himself. I'll Good be morning, back. morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. Friday sometime. I don't know. Hold on. October 29th, 10, 15 a.m. It's finally a quiet day. I don't have to rush to go anywhere. I didn't have to rush to put my pajamas, uh, my clothes on or get out of my pajamas. I didn't have to rush through my coffee. I call that a win. <laughs> All right, it is dark as you can see. The lighting is kind of funky because it's still storming out. Um, I do think it's supposed to stop raining today sometime, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna go answer that question. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm currently in the midst of creating an unlisted, completely unlisted YouTube channel for patrons and supporters. Don't try to search my name because you won't find it that way. Ha. Anyway, if you want to know the channel, you want to see the videos, you want to see the links, you have to be a patron or supporter over there on Patreon. The link is down below in my link tree list of links and stuff. Check it out. Anyway, while I've been doing that, in between that, I've been finishing up my sketchbook. Pictures for which are also going to be over on Patreon first before social media season. Anyway, and I started a new one. I, I picked up, created a new one. So...
Yay. Okay. I haven't really gotten any steps in up and down the stairs, but I feel like I'm making progress. All right. I do wish I could transfer video from Dropbox directly to YouTube, but no matter what anybody tells you, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right. I'll be back. Can you see me now? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Junk mail. Oh, I don't know what that is. Might be junk mail, but we'll see. This is the this is the one. This is from my friend Leslie. She sent a priority mail, which I appreciate, Leslie. But you didn't have to do that. But thank you. It's nice and puffy. Okay. I sent her some stuff too. I think she got it today. She wrapped them up so well. Can I get in there? I don't know. I don't have a electronic die cutting system anymore. I found them extremely frustrated by beyond belief. So when I need um, something cut, I send it to Leslie or ask Leslie or one of my other friends who has a machine if they don't mind cutting me some things. I had some feather tags I had gotten from Hampton Arts or I don't know, somebody. I told her I really liked them, but I couldn't get any more. She says, let me see what I can do. So she found a feather picture uh, on her, for her die cutting machine and look what she cut me. And I could very easily make them into tags by punching a hole up here. How cute are these? And how cute are these gonna be on paper clusters and library pockets? And then she sent me, look at these. There's a whole bunch of charms, which would be cute on the tags. Thank you, Leslie, appreciate it. It is Friday, Mr. got off work early. So no, we're- Oh, it's after five. That's early. He not only works in high tech, he's a workaholic. Like, like when the dude gets off work at five in the old days, he show up at the front door at five o'clock, I'd say, what happened, you got fired? Not today. Yeah, not today. Anyway, we're gonna go for a walk. And yeah, enjoy the rest of our evening. Family dinner night is tomorrow night instead of tonight. And cause we're doing Oktoberfest and my dad is coming. And I think son-in-law's dad is coming. And yeah, so anyway, I'll get pictures of where I can. All right, we'll be back. Again. What'd you do? I'm standing back at the corner. I walked backwards because I want to show you this. There's a lot of leaves. Hold on. It's just a little bitty pile. You think? Was it the whole side of the street? Uh, the whole block. Whole block. It is Saturday morning, October 30th, 11.31-ish a.m. As you just saw, I had collected some fall leaves uh, last night on our walk and also this morning from our driveway. And I rinsed them all off to debug them <laughs> and then put them between wax paper and a book. That's how I dry all my botanicals. Um, and sometimes they get moldy and they don't dry well, but most of the time they do just fine. And then once they're nice and dry after a week or so, sometimes it takes a little longer, 
um, then I can use them in my journal pages. I can lam laminate them and use them on paper clusters, like all kinds of stuff. So anyway. Hey guys, it is 11, uh, hold on, 50. do, uh, do you have the 11.50 p.m. Yeah, Saturday night. We're still awake, but we had coffee. That I'm might be, the coffee. <laughs> that might be why. And yes, crazy pants is over there laying on top of grandpa. So we had a nice family dinner this evening. We did, as I said earlier, some German food in celebration of Oktoberfest. Since we didn't get to go to Oktoberfest this year, thank you, COVID. Um, and it was a really great time, great time with the family. Paulius's dad was here because he's helping them with some work. And my dad drove down and it's all good. Mm -hmm. We weren't supposed to have crazy pants. Nope. But her house is fairly disassembled uh they're getting their kitchen paulisa's father is here visiting um well well working right he's yeah he's not really visiting he's working because he's helping them with some of their kitchen reno um it's going to take quite a while but he's here trying to help them with as much of the plumbing and electrical as he can in two days all right anyway in the meantime because the kitchen the house is a disaster because the kitchen's torn up Lily is like relegated back to a bedroom. So Bob didn't even ask me. He said, why don't you just leave Lily here at least for the night? Um, it's okay with me, by the way. Did He didn't, he apologized later. I should have asked you. I said, you know, right. it's fine. So anyway, we have Lily. I spent the day transferring. Nah, no, You're look, okay, I mean, yeah. look at her. Pause in the air. Okay. Please pet me. Okay. You know, doesn't bother you, does it? No, she doesn't care. Anyway, uh, I got the rest of the videos uh, transferred from Dropbox to my computer's external hard drive. It was a long process, but I got it done. So now there will be, um, over the next few days or weeks, um, a lot more content going to the Patreon-only YouTube channel, private YouTube channel. So again, if you want to see it, you got to be a patron. I know I've been repeating myself this vlog, but, you know, it's a thing. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week, um, that you continue to stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, do some art, and have some fun, get some walks in, enjoy the fresh air. Yeah, all those things. At least while you can before it gets cold and snowy or wet or whatever kind of winter weather you get where you're at. Yeah. All right, that's it for this week. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.